God spoke to me. He said, how can you encourage others when you are afraid to let people see who you really are? I am a woman. I'm a jazz lover. I am a beach bum. I am a human. I'm a dog owner, and I am a vegetarian, and I'm rhythmic like a conga drum. I'm surely flawed, but I'm a child of God. Typically when you see someone that's bald, you assume that they've had cancer or they've gone through some type of chemo treatment. Um, because I have alopecia, I don't think that way. So I was about 23 or so when I first started losing my hair. While I, I'm open and honest about wearing a wig, I still wasn't comfortable enough to go without mine. Um, I just think that was just uh, embarrassment or shame, things that keep us shackled or keep us in bondage because we're afraid of what other people might think or how other people may look at us. This is freeing. I, I'm comfortable, you know, coming out thinking, this is me. This is who I am. And so I, I think it's freeing. I think it's... Um, a way to encourage other women just to not be ashamed. You know. And so I want to be an example. I want to encourage other people that, you know, even though it may not be what you want it to be, you know, the situation, you can't change it, you can't control it, but embrace it. This is being free, uh, almost like being a butterfly blossoming into the person that God has called me to be. First Peter 3, 3 through 4. Your adornment must not be merely external braiding of the hair and wearing gold jewelry or putting on dresses, but let it be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is precious in the sight of God. And so it's not about who we are on the outside or the hair that we have, but it's about the heart and who we are inside. So that's what I want to leave people with.